Hello viewers and listeners, welcome once again to Salidas Tele Radio right here at La Filipina National High School. I am your teacher host, Teacher Florani El Sinabri. Today is another episode full of learning and fun as we explore another lesson in Science 10, Quarter 3, all about the menstrual cycle. Are you all ready? Now, I will turn you over to our teacher broadcaster, our very own, Teacher Christine Marie B. Ramos. Hello, viewers and listeners. Welcome to our lesson this morning. We are very glad that despite the pandemic, we will be able to deliver our lessons to you through Salida Teleradio. I am your teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Christine Marie B. Ramos, and welcome to our topic all about the menstrual cycle. So before we start, let us have first our objectives. Number one, define menstruation. Number two, explain the role of hormones involved in the menstrual cycle. Number three, describe the feedback mechanisms involved in regulating processes in the menstrual cycle. So let us have first the Pinoy myths about menstruation. So I have heard of a lot of Pinoy myths about menstruation, but I just I got this top three Pinoy myths. So let's start with number one. When you get your first flow in your teenage years, wash your face with the blood so you won't get pimples. So that's according to our mama and lola and even sa mga titas natin. But then, according to uh, uh, obstetrician gynecologists. We have to avoid doing it because actually it can cause pimples and we are inviting bacteria on our face. So better not do it. Okay, so let's proceed to number two. Jump off the stairs from three steps up so that your period will last for only three days. So again, sabi ng lola at saka mama natin na kailangan daw tamuambak o ikatulong ang ang para dali na daw man atong dugo. But then, according to the obstetrician gynecologist, normally, our menstrual period lasts 3 to 5 days. And then, according to them, it's not true because usually, yung, teen, uh, yung teens lesser ang number of days. Kasi nga, bata pa sila. And then, at the same time, yung healthier ones, they have longer number of days because they have uh, more sources of hormone like body fats that uh, produces estrogen. Okay, so number three, don't take a bath during your period, you'll be infertile. So again, that's another myth na naman. It's not a good practice according to our obstetrician gynecologist because it should be better that we have to take a bath every day, lalo na pag may menstrual period tayo to avoid vaginal infections and any vaginal disorders. Actually, according to research, we have to replace our sanitary napkins every after 4 hours para hindi mag-thrive yung bacteria sa sanitary napkins natin. Okay, so those are some of the Pinoy myths about menstruation that we have to correct. Okay, so now let us proceed to the total recall. So in our previous discussion, you have learned about the parts of the female reproductive system. Now, what are the parts of the female reproductive system? So diba, in our previous lesson, you learned um, that the parts of the reproductive system are ovary, oviduct, uterus, and vagina. Ovary, which produce egg cells. Oviduct serves as the passageway of eggs from the ovary. Uterus serves as the egg implantation where the fertilized egg is developed. Then vagina, which receives the penis of male during mating. Now, what is menstruation? Okay, menstruation is the monthly changes that take place in the female reproductive system. Menstruation or buwanang dalaw. So much better that you will if that we will track our menstrual cycle so that we can monitor our menstrual flow. Especially if we have to visit our old obstetrician gynecologist. Kailangan kasi ang information kapag napapa-check up tayo sa OB. 
So, kailangan, we have to take shot of our menstrual period kasi i-ask nila kung when was the last time or when ba nag-end yung menstrual period natin. So, actually, uh, what I did to track my menstrual period, nag-download ako sa App Store. Okay? There are a lot of uh, apps in tracking menstrual period. So, in my case, I downloaded uh, the app Flo, spelled as F-L-O. Again, F-L-O. So, to surely track my menstrual period. Okay. So, we have here the picture of the female reproductive system. So, again, uh, in, our previous top, in our previous topic, you have learned about uh, the different parts of the female reproductive system. Uh, actually, ang female reproductive system kasi natin, it looks like ano, uh, letter Y. Of which, yung parang tenga ng letter Y, yun yung ovaries, and then the body, na, yun yung uterus. Okay, so on average, an ovary releases only one egg in every 28 days. So again, always remember, only one egg ang release ng ovary natin every 28 day cycle. But there are some cases na uh, yung iba, hindi 28 day cycle, yung iba earlier than 28 day cycle, yung iba naman 31 to 35 day cycle. So if that's the case, we have to visit our OB gynecologist to check for any other irregularities in our menstrual cycle. Hormones control many of the changes in the reproductive system. So, di ba? Uh, you are all familiar with hormones. Hormones are chemicals that affect certain body organs of which they are responsible with our mood swings kapag may period tayo. Di ba? Sinasabi nila, uh, uh, Ayaw ko hilabdi, kaya na ako yung period karon, di sapot ko. Well, that's true because it is the work of our or the function of our hormones. Mo bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng mood swings? The cycle occurs every month from the first onset, which can happen when a female is between 10 to 13 years old. Yung iba nagdadalaga grade four, grade five, grade six. But in my own experience, I had my first. Uh, menstrual flow when I was already in grade seven, uh, first year high school, which is equivalent to grade 7 right now. So, it depends on the ano kasi, it depends on our body system. May iba kasi earlier, may iba naman late ang uh, menstrual flow or ang, ang, ang first menstrual flow. So, let us have now the process of the menstrual cycle. Number 1. The pituitary gland controls and starts the cycle. So, di ba pag sinabi natin menstrual cycle, we all think na nagsa-start ang menstrual cycle sa reproductive system. But, it all started in the endocrine system. That's why we have uh, body systems in our body na tinatawag natin coordinated functions. These coordinated functions are nervous system, endocrine system, and reproductive system system. They are so-called coordinated functions because they do the feedbacking along the process. Like sa menstrual cycle, nagsistart or nagsisimula ang menstrual cycle natin sa endocrine system which is the pituitary gland. Number two, the pituitary gland releases hormones that cause the egg in the ovary to mature. So sa pituitary gland natin, uh, may mga nare-release na hormones of which helps sa development ng or sa maturation ng ating uh, egg sa ovary. So, pituitary, we all know that pituitary gland is just one of the seven glands in the endocrine system. It is a work of the pituitary gland of which it releases hormones such as first is the LH or the luteinizing hormone. So, what is the work of the luteinizing hormone? Or what is the function of the luteinizing hormone? So, it initiates the maturation of the follicles and then com converts ruptured follicles into corpus luteum and causes the secretion of progesterone. So, as you can uh, see, yung LH or luteinizing hormone is uh, released from the pituitary gland. And then, along the process, the luteinizing hormone 
triggers the production or the secretion of the progesterone of which we all know that in our reproductive system we uh, we have two hormones the progesterone and the estrogen okay another hormone that is released ng pituitary gland natin is the FH, FSH or the follicle stimulating hormone so what is the work now or the function of the follicle stimulating hormone it assists in the maturation of the follicles and causes the secretion of estrogen. So yung kanina, yung nare-release ng pituitary gland, dalawa kasi. Yung isa, luteinizing hormone or the LH, and the other one is the follicle stimulating hormone or the FSH. So ang uh, luteinizing hormone, nag-start or nag-initiate siya sa pag-mature ng egg sa ovary of which it triggers the production or the secretion of progesterone. While the follicle-simulating hormone naman, it assists the maturation of the follicles and it causes the secretion of estrogen. So in analogical sequence, lut luteinizing hormone is to progesterone and follicle-simulating hormone is to estrogen. So again ha, we have two hormones in, a f in our female reproductive system, the progesterone and the estrogen. Number three, the ovary itself releases a hormone called estrogen, which causes the uterine lining to increase in thickness. The uterine lining becomes thicker so that the fertilized egg can attach to it. So, na nakikita niyo ba ang work or ang function ng uh, hormones in our body? So, this is the work of the estrogen of which siya ang nagkukos kung bakit nagtitiken ang uterine lining natin. So, saan ba located ang uterine lining? So, in our picture here, as you can see in the uterus, the lining beside the uterus, that is the uterine lining. So, kapag uh, along with our menstrual cycle, nagtitiken ang ating uh, uterine lining with the help of the hormone estrogen. So, bakit nga ba nagtitiken yung uterine lining natin? It is in preparation, if a sperm is present, it is a preparation for a fertilized egg to attach to it. Kaya nagtitiken yung ating uterine lining. So now, number four, the ovary releases an egg on day 14. So diba, we have 28-day cycle. But then, on day 14, nagre-release ang ovary natin ng egg. Of which, if there is no sperm present, hindi mag hindi ma-fertilize ang egg of which meaning to say hindi magkaka hindi um hindi ma-develop yung uh, fertilized egg or hindi ma hindi mapupunta or hindi ma-attach sa uterus yung egg because it is not a fertilized egg number 5 the egg moves through the oviduct and the uter and enters the uterus so, after ma-release on day 14, after ma-release ng egg, then it will, it will move through the oviduct. And oviduct is the passageway of the egg. And then, enters the uterus. The number 6, the uterine lining continues to thicken along the process within the, uh, in the menstrual cycle. Then, number 7, the egg has not been fertilized. Therefore, it will not attach to the uterus. So again, since there is no sperm present, meaning to say, the, our egg na na-release is not fertilized and it will not attach to the uterus if it is not fertilized. Number eight, the thick uterine lining is no longer necessary. So the cell of the thick and uterine lining break off and leave the vagina. The egg is lost and some blood too. So, since hindi fertilized ang egg, saan nga ba napupunta ang egg natin if it is not fertilized? Since kapag hindi fertilized, hindi na-attach sa uterus. So, what will happen is that along with the thickened uterine lining, it will shed off and then it will break off and leave the vagina and that is now our menstrual flow. And number nine, lastly, after menstruation, the cycle continues. So, day 1 to day 28. So, again, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, if uh, the cycle is not or earlier than 28-day cycle or beyond 28-day cycle, like 31 to 35, better you have to check or better better 
visit your obstetrician gynecologist to further check the irregularities of your menstrual cycle of, or of your menstrual flow. So we have now here the feedback mechanisms in menstrual cycle. So we have here the pituitary gland, the luteinizing hormone, progesterone, uh, follicle stimulating hormone, and estrogen. So follicle stimulating hormone or FSH stimulates the ovaries to release estrogen. Now high levels of estrogen then prevent the further production of follicle stimulating hormone. Now, in feedback mechanism in the menstrual cycle, we have a positive feedback mechanism and negative feedback mechanism. So, the positive uh, feedback mechanism there is that the luteinizing hormone triggers or causes the secretion of the progesterone. And also, same with estrogen, uh, same with follicle stimulating hormone to estrogen. And the ne negative feedback mechanism there is that the progesterone controls or reduces the production of the luteinizing hormone. So now, let us have a trivia. Did you know? So I'm pretty sure uh, we are all familiar with menstrual cramps or, the, or kapag may buwan ng dalaw tayo, sumasakit yung puso natin, di ba? Sumasakit ang puso natin, tapos nagtatang tayo, bakit ba sumasakit ang Bakit ba sumasakit ang puso natin every time may buwan ng dalaw tayo? So, uh, with my friends, sa, uh, there I have a lot of friends na nakaka-experience ng ganyan. May iba nga, uh, uh, extreme yung uh, menstrual cramps nila, of which ang iba hindi na makakapasok sa work or hindi na makakapunta ng school because of the too much menstrual cramps. So, what is the reason behind sa pagsasakit ng puso natin? So, first, uh, ano nga ba ang menstrual cramp? So, menstrual cramps are the results of the strong contractions of the uterine wall that occur before and during menstruation. So, the cramps can be caused by excessive secretion of prostaglandins. And prostaglandins are hormone-like effect. Now, kaya, nag uh, kaya sumasakit yung puso natin kasi nga, uh, too much ang secretion of this prostaglandin. So, since too much ang secretion ng prostaglandin, yung contraction of muscles natin, uh, hindi na siya normal. That's why, kapag nagko-contract yung muscles or strong contraction of muscles, sumasakit ang puso natin. But there's a remedy for that. So, according to the OB gynecologists, gagamitan daw natin ng hot compress. May mabibili naman na hot compress and then if wala, uh, pwede mo gamitin yung... Uh, uh, empty bottle, lag lagyan mo ng mainit na tubig. At ilagay mo dito, you place it dito sa puso mo. And it will ease the pain. Kasi, it will reduce now the muscle contractions. Okay, so let's proceed now to let me think it over. So, number one, explain the function of the pituitary gland in the menstrual cycle. Again, explain the function of the pituitary gland in the menstrual cycle. So, of course, I know you can answer if nakinig kayo sa discussion ko kanina. Okay, so, the function of the pituitary gland controls and starts the cycle and it releases hormones to initiate the maturation of an egg. Okay, number two. What do you think will happen to the uterine lining in preparation for the fertilized egg to attach to it? Again, what do you think will happen to the uterine lining in preparation for the fertilized egg to attach to it? Okay, the uterine lining, it thickens in preparation for the fertilized egg to attach to it. Okay, let's proceed to number three. Is it possible that uh, menstruation will occur twice a month? Again, is it possible that a menstruation will occur twice a month? The answer is yes. There are a lot of contributing factors that the bleeding will occur twice a month. One known factor is stress. And, and I have a lot of friends na nakaka-experience ng ganyan. Usually, di ba, sabi ko, yung cycle is 28 days cycle. But then, if that's the case, na twice a month, ang, ang menstrual flow or ang bleeding, meaning to say, it's not normal anymore. So again, we have to see our obstetrician gynecologist to further check what's wrong with the 
uh, what's wrong with our menstrual cycle or what's wrong with our menstrual flow. Okay, so now, remember me. So let us check if uh, you can still remember our discussion kanina or you can still rem remember our topic kanina. Number one, what is menstruation? Again, what is menstruation? Okay, the menstruation is the monthly changes that take place in the female reproductive system. Okay, number two. How many egg or eggs does an ovary releases every month? How many egg or eggs does an ovary releases every month? Okay, the correct answer is, of course, only one egg. Number three. What hormone initiates the maturation of the follicles? Again, what hormone initiates the maturation of the follicles? Okay, the answer is, it is the luteinizing hormone or the LH. Okay, number four. What gland controls this or controls and starts the cycle? Again, what gland controls and starts the cycle? Okay, the correct answer is pituitary gland. Then last but not the least, what is hormone? Again, what is hormone? Okay, hormones are chemicals that affect certain body organs. So now, let us have a quiz because I'm pretty sure you have, uh, you've learned a lot from the discussion natin kanina. So answer honestly the questions, get your pen and clean sheet of paper. So our quiz is uh, true or false. You write true if you think the statement is correct and false if you think the statement is wrong. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with number one. On average, an ovary releases one egg every 28 days. Again, on average, an ovary releases one egg every 28 days. Okay, the correct answer is of course true again always remember only one egg ang nire release ng egg natin every 28 day cycle okay let's proceed with number two the adrenal gland controls and starts the menstrual cycle again the adrenal gland controls and starts the menstrual cycle Okay, the correct answer is, of course, false. Because it is not the adrenal gland that it as that starts or controls the uh, menstrual cycle, but it is the pituitary gland. Adrenal gland is just one among the seven glands of the endocrine system. But adrenal gland hindi nag-release. Nag I mean, ng hormone na luteinizing hormone and then. Uh, follicle simulating hormone but na nang nire-release ng adrenal gland is yung adrenaline. Okay, number three. Progesterone and androgen are the hormones in the female reproductive system. Again, progesterone and androgen are the hormones in the female reproductive system. Okay, the correct answer, of course, is false. Because the two hormones na nire-release ng ovary natin are progesterone and estrogen. While sa male reproductive system naman, um, testosterone and androgen. Okay, let's proceed to number four. 
Luteinizing hormone initiates the maturation of the follicles. Again, luteinizing hormone initiates the maturation of the follicles. The correct answer is, of course, true, together with the follicle-simulating hormone. Then last but not the least, number five, the ovary releases an egg on day 28. Again, the ovary releases an egg on day 28. Of course, the correct answer is false. Kasi, on day 14, nagre-release nagre ng egg yung ovary natin. Not on day 28. Yung day, yung day 28, yun yung menstrual cycle natin. 28-day cycle. Okay, so for your assignment, what are the parts of the nervous system? Again, what are the parts of the nervous system? So you write it in a clean sheet of paper. So that's it for today. I hope that you learned something. And this is your teacher broadcaster, Ma'am Christine Marie B. Ramos. Thank you for listening and good day. Bye-bye! Wow! That was a very engaging topic, Teacher Christine. Thank you so much. And thank you viewers and listeners for tuning in. I hope that you have learned something today. I am your teacher host, Teacher Florini saying thank you and God bless.